Alternata, they look totally next to each other. Yeah, just just the slightest offset. Mm -hmm. Or maybe none at all. Oh no, they are just slightly offset. The side, the ones on the right are a little bit higher than the mm -hmm. ones on the left. And this is a really good view to see. The last point I was going to make is whether there are polyps on the main axis or not, and there definitely are. Here yeah. In those pinholes. Mm -hmm. Nice, great view. Excellent. Thanks very much. So bizarre. It looks like you know there's only two tentacles per polyp, but again, there's not. There's six. Mm -hmm. Really stretched out along the pinnule. You can really see that crust where it's sort of broken away. Yeah. A little bit of sedimentation on the top parts. Mm hmm how how straight these rocks are locally like the cleavage on them is really flat Oops, somebody's going by above oh, what's us. up top what is that oh oh a squid ooh, oh ooh. yes a squid oh follow it <laughs> I know these. I've seen these before. I know. I've seen these <laughs> as well. I'm thinking. With the bent arms. Look how cool. I know. It's just so. It's a big fin squid, it's maybe? ghostly. Magnapina? Magnapina. Oh, man. Look at him. He's very alienish. <gasps> Ooh, look, you can see right through it. No. Mantle. Right through it. And through its fins, look how beautiful. Incredible video and ROV work here. No. Look how long his legs are. Wow. I would imagine those two extra long ones are the tentacles. This is just me guessing at this mm -hmm. point. Is, if, if this isn't I Mike Vecchione, thank you. <laughs> Hi, Mike. <gasps> Look at him go. <laughs> Hi. Yes, that is a Magna Pena. I actually thought I saw one yesterday, in the, way back in the, the distance. Oh, but nice. you never got a uh, Close good up. look at it. Yeah. But, uh, I've been waiting for these to show up on this side because you're, you're pretty deep now. Uh, Magna Pena D is a, a family of squids that Dick Young and I described uh, Back in the late 1900s. Nice. <laughs> um, and uh, it used to be easy because we all thought we thought there was only one species, but it turns out we've now found uh, at least three or four species of them. Awesome. So as far as your your logging is concerned, Magna Pinna SP. Yeah, awesome. Excellent. Thank you so much. Great job following that. And there's there was a, a recent paper came out from uh, uh, Australia where they, they saw, I think they had five observations, and they figured out how many ob observations there had been published up until last year. And it wasn't very many. Uh, but Okeanos runs into them every once in a while, particularly in, around the Gulf of Mexico. That's so cool. Well, yeah. we got one more data point. It was so great. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Really nice video. So cool. And a very popular uh, subject. Uh, people really like the, the big fin squids. Yeah, they're really interesting. They're so it's odd great looking. how we got a views of it from almost all the way around. Yeah. It. Um, yeah, they, they are very odd. Um, do you have any other questions about them? Are they the same kind? Like, you were telling us the other day how they hold their legs, like, in, like, a wrap was that, is that what sheep. I was seeing? Yeah. Is that what I was seeing with him, too? Um, uh, no, they're related to that family. That that, that was referring to the family uh, Mastigotusidae. Okay. Where they, they have two elongate arms, and they hold their tentacles in a groove in the mm -hmm. ventral arms. 
Mm-hmm. So, but uh, Magna Pinna, 